What's up guys, Perlin here with another video for you and today I want to talk about how you can travel plastic free. Now it's one thing to go single use plastic free at home where you can research different places that you can get stuff in containers or find bulk food stores where you can buy stuff that isn't wrapped in plastic. It's another thing entirely to be able to do that on the road. So I want to go through a bunch of tips and scenarios that you'll find yourself in on the road with single use plastic and how you can get around that situation. So the first big scenario you'll find yourself in is airports and flying. So first up, water bottle. Make sure you have a reusable water bottle to bring with you. Just empty it out before security. When you get through security, refill it. There's usually a little water fountain next to the toilets in most airports where you can refill your water bottle. And if you do forget to refill it after security and you get onto the plane, just ask the stewardess and they'll take it down the back and they'll refill it with the drinking water. So always carry a water bottle with you so you don't have to buy a water bottle and so you don't get given the plastic cups of water that they give you on the plane. Maybe you get to the airport early, you want to get a coffee before your flight. Usually in airports they don't have cafes that have like actual, you know, cups, ceramic cups for you to drink out of, so they're always takeaway. So if you have room for it, remember to bring your keep cup. If you don't have room for it or you've forgotten it for some reason, say no to a lid. So if you see they're going to put a lid on it, just say no because usually you're just going to be carrying the coffee from where you get it off the counter to a nearby table and then drinking it there. So there's no need to have a lid. The next thing you'll find is plastic cutlery. So you'll find this in a lot of the cafes and stuff within airports but also specifically on the plane when they give you plastic cutlery. Way to fix that is to bring your own. I have traveled with this little bad boy which I just found in the cutlery drawer and I travel with it and I just got this because it's nice and short on the end. Um, it gets through security fine and then I've just got a fork for whatever I need. You can buy you know whole little sets these days and it's, it comes in a nice little roll you can buy these sets online or you can just go to your cutlery drawer and pick out some cutlery for you to have on the road. One note do not bring a knife because that will get taken off you in security, but forks and spoons are fine. The next big tip for airports and for just traveling in general is bringing your own container. So usually the airplane food is pretty bad anyway, so it's always good to have your own food and you can bring your own food onto an airline if you don't know that. So this just takes a bit of preparing, you know, have a container or a few containers of different sizes for you to bring along on your travels prepare food before you come to the airport to get on the flight. Um, if you're going out on a day trip, prepare food from your hostel or your hotel or your room and take it out with you when you're walking around the city so you don't have to buy food that is wrapped in single-use plastic. The next thing you'll find a lot is straws. They like to put straws in everything. So to fix that, bring your own straw. This one is a bamboo straw. I picked it up while I was in Bali. It also came in this cool little travel case. It's got a straw cleaner um, inside it so you can clean it out. So that's very handy. They both go in there. So that's a cool little kit. You can pick these up from different places. There's metal straws, there's bamboo straws. So this will mean that you have an option if you have a drink that needs a straw. When I'm at home, I never use straws for anything because I never order drinks that come with straws. But when traveling, I actually found that I did use this bamboo straw a lot more than I thought because I'm going to cafes and restaurants and I'm ordering drinks like iced coffees or juices, drinks that come in like a long glass that's really handy to have a straw in. You also need to remember to say no to straws. So a lot of time in restaurants and cafes, they'll just give you straws and you really gotta say, I don't want a straw. So when they're taking your order, say no straw, so they write it down. Usually they remember, sometimes they still forget and they bring your drink out with a straw. Get the straw and hand it back to them saying, sorry, I don't want the straw. Because even though that, that specific straw probably just gets thrown away because it's already been in a drink, they'll remember 
next time that if someone asks for no straw, they don't bring them a straw. The next big scenario is eating out. So usually when you're traveling around, you're eating out most of the time, whether it's restaurants or takeaway or street food. And that means a lot of takeaway containers, a lot of plastic bags they try and give you, a lot of plastic in general. So the different ways around this. First, like at home, bring a carry bag with you wherever you go. So this can come in any shape or size. Um, you know, this one's really good where it's just like a, a net bag that is designed for produce, but because it's so light and so you know compact, you can scrunch it up. It takes up no room or weight when you're traveling. And you can just take this out and carry stuff in it, whether it's fruit or whether it's just other random stuff that you buy when you're traveling. And the trick is having one of these with you all the time. So that's why I like little ones like this because they take up no space and you can just squash them into, you know, your day pack or your main pack or, you know, even like your wallet with something like this. So you never forget it when you need it. This one was another cool thing I found or it actually got given to me from my dad who randomly found it. Um, and it looks like a little wallet. It's got a little money compartment, but you unzip this one and it folds out into a bag with handles. How awesome is that? So there's lots of like little bag ideas that you can find randomly um, that are nice and small. So the idea is just to have one of those for the times that you need it. Again, with the container, bring that with you when you're going out on a day trip. So if you're walking around the city and you wanna get some takeaway or some street food, usually they'll put it in a styrofoam container or they'll put it in plastic and give it to you. So if you've got your own empty container with you, you can give that to them and they can put the food straight in there. Like I'm thinking of, you know, Thailand, Southeast Asia is particularly bad. Like you go out on the street and say you want some fresh fruit cut up and they cut up the fruit put it in a bag and they put that bag in another bag with handles for you or if you have your own container they can just put it straight into that. When you are looking for places to eat choose sit down restaurants where you can sit down and use their you know plates and knives and forks so there's no plastic used. If you are getting takeaway you know use your container and your reusable bag. If for whatever reason you've forgotten that look for places that serve food in paper or compostable um, takeaway containers. If you're in a spot where you have to get takeaway and there's no other option other than a restaurant that has plastic takeaway containers, try to reduce the amount of plastic. So if you've forgotten your reusable bag and they want to give you a plastic bag, see if you can just carry the container by itself to wherever you're going. If you don't need a bag, don't take it. Usually when you get takeaway food, you get the container and then you get a bunch of other stuff like uh, disposable cutlery and some sachets of like hot sauce and salt and pepper and things like that that are all wrapped in plastic. If you're not going to use those things, don't take them. Just say, okay, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, and just give back all of those little plastic satchels. That's a way to save more plastic. When you're staying in hotels or sometimes Airbnbs, they have little soap and shampoo and conditioner containers. Uh, try and do best not to use those, so travel with your own ones um, because every time you use those, you know, they're wrapped in individual plastic and it's only such a small amount. And even if you only use it once, then the maids come in and they just chuck it away and refill it. So if you don't touch it and the maids come in and they see that it's untouched soap in its packet, then they don't have to refill that. So you're just saving plastic that way as well. So there's a bunch of tips for you when you're traveling how to stay single-use plastic free and again with these things you'll come across situations where you know you've forgotten a carry bag or you've forgotten a keep cup and you get single-use plastic and then just make a mental note to figure out how you can avoid that situation in the future. If you want more videos on sustainability I've actually created a second channel dedicated to just sustainability and becoming more sustainable in your life. So I will link to my second channel in the description and card up the top. And if you want to see the video where I talk about going plastic free in your day to day life, click and tap right here for that. And if you want to check out my second channel, click and tap right here for that. But that's it for now. Until next time.